What is up guys? Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to become an entrepreneur. How to become an entrepreneur. This is going to be very, very helpful for you. I'm going to try not to make this video too long, but a lot of people do not talk about this stuff in their videos. They're not transparent. They just want to make a quick, get rich quick scheme. And I'll be here to tell you, if you want to be an entrepreneur, it's hard. It's very, very difficult. Be prepared to lose a lot of money. Be prepared to to stumble and fall so many times. Be ready to lose three to four years of your life. And I'm not joking. This is for any this is for any a small business owner. I'm taking an entrepreneur course right now and I've I've been an entrepreneur for a long time and I haven't really made much money yet, but I'm getting very 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 close. And I know that the reward will be big. I have other I have multiple businesses and I'm willing to sacrifice and put in so much work for these businesses. Just know that you're going to spend a lot of money in this. It's going to be, you're going to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars. And you're not going to get that money back right away. And I've been told by people many times in my life these things, but I never listened to them. I was like, I'm too ambitious for this. I don't need your bullshit. Like, whatever. You know, this is all bullshit I can do it better than you um that mentality is just not gonna work it's it's not you need to what I've learned is you need to humble down and be cautious with your steps now I would like to say all these things that I've learned from the businesses I run but every business is different like whatever you're doing it could be completely different from what I'm doing I do YouTube and Shopify and stuff. That's what I'm doing. And Amazon Associates and other things like that. And blogging and, you know, all these other things. I have multiple uh, potential income sources down the line. And YouTube, I already know that I'm going to make money from. I already see all the stats and everything for it. It's growing rapidly. <clears throat> so by me saying, oh, well, I am an entrepreneur, but I don't have any money. That's... It's that it's 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 that right now, right? It's it's like that right now. But I have seen a four thousand plus percent growth in the last two weeks. Okay, more than four thousand percent. So the it, it's it's a very new thing for me. So that's where I'm gonna kind of um, <clears throat> tell you guys. That's that's where I'm. Um, that's why I'm saying that, you know, I, although I haven't made money from YouTube, I see the stats and I've looked at all these other places like Social Blade and stuff. And I've seen that there is money once I'm monetized involved. So I'm getting very, very close to monetization. Um, if you want to help, make sure to subscribe, like this video and share to your friends. Um, so now I'm going to get into it. <clears throat> Where to begin? Where to begin? Um, obviously figuring out your business and taking notes and really, really studying your niche, really studying it, really getting involved, watching multiple videos, how to go about it. You know, you got to gather so much, you got to gather a ton of information. Um, and sometimes you got to gather so much information that it hurts your brain. Literally. There's been nights I've, I've, I've stayed up for a very long time and studied these things and that's again what entrepreneurship is is you spend the entire day studying learning not even launching the business but just studying what to do you know studying all these different things i figured out that youtube is honestly the best platform to learn these things and it fast forwards the process so use youtube and google and, and ChatGPT and all the artificial intelligence use that to figure it out to figure out what niche you want or or if you have something figured out if you have the business plan already 
ask ChatGPT. Um, it is the easiest way. I've, I've used ChatGPT, ChatGPT so much for my business, and I think it's almost 3 x my growth. So, um, next step is, like I said, step one is kind of analyze, research, that kind of thing, right? Two, most people would say, okay, start the business. No, I know. I would say, honestly, that sounds really dumb. Part two should stick into part one. You should keep researching. Keep researching. Um, then maybe get some opinions from people. Get some opinions from your friends on how to go about the business. Um, if it's a good idea, if there's any changes that should be made, maybe find somebody that's experienced in business that can help you and they'll tell you what you need to focus on. Get yourself involved like I am in a business course. It'll really, really help you. Um, I, I've only done it for one week now because we went camping and I skipped the second week, but week three is coming up and man, I am, I'm excited because I, I've learned a lot even in week one and you know I watched the video from week two and that's helped me a lot it's truly beneficial and just getting involved in some sort of course will help you um, even if it means spending 300 to 500 dollars um, or more because if you can learn these things you don't have to go through all the pain points and falling all on your face, you have somebody that supports you. And I would recommend it being in an in-person, in-person course with other people um, because it'll really help. Um, that is the best tip I will give um, to get involved in some sort of course. And I used to be like, oh, this is so scammy. Like this is, I don't want to throw my money at some random person that doesn't know what they're talking about. Do some research about who you're gonna buy a course from, what company you're gonna buy it from, before you just jump into some random course on YouTube. Um, because sometimes those can be scammy. And make sure that this business is a business that you wanna stick with for a very, very long time, if not for the rest of your life. Um, for me, like YouTube and stuff and Shopify, Shopify is my business, right? YouTube isn't my business, technically speaking. Like, yes, it does generate money passively, um, which is great, but it's not my, it's not my own business. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I would like to think it is my own business, um, but YouTube owns the platform. You know what I mean? So Shopify lets you use their platform, obviously, like it's their platform. I guess it's kind of the same thing. YouTube lets you use their platform. I guess it's sort of a business. I don't know. Um, everybody else will have, everybody will have their own perspective on that, I guess. Um, but <clears throat> like I said, making sure you get involved in some sort of group where there's leaders that can, that can help you um, is, it's very fundamental. You will, you will fall down so many times and you'll you'll cry and stuff it'll be it'll be very difficult and i'm not just saying that to offend i'm not saying that to offend anybody i'm being serious it is very very hard it is very difficult um another thing i would suggest is getting diversifying your um your income streams so what i mean is Spend some money in stocks, in crypto, invest in other places, and also, if you are running a big business, what I've heard lately is a lot of people use their individual funds, their individual bank account. I was told by a business owner to not ever, to not ever use your individual bank account. Use a business account. Um, I think that's extremely important, and... Yeah, that's probably one of the most important steps um, to doing this correctly is make sure you have 
that and another source of income. Another thing I want to uh, suggest is getting an app called Albert. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Albert is essentially a way, and this is not a sponsor by the way, Albert is essentially a way to, it, it takes some money out of your account and keeps it in a safe place. It keeps it in a safe place and you guys need to definitely have some sort of place to be able to move your money back and forth. Um, and that's why I like Albert. Um, so that's another tip. And there's other apps too, like Rocket Money, keeping track of the subscriptions and stuff. I've heard a lot of good things about that. Keeping track of your finances ex is extremely important in business because you're going to lose a lot of money and you need to prioritize the things that you need and don't need. Um, that has been very hard for me lately. It has been very, very tricky to try to get rid of things that I do and do not need, okay? Um, you, you guys don't need to keep buying clothes, for example. You don't always need to be buying the best brand new clothes. Um, save that money and invest it in a business. Invest it in your business. It is very essential that you do that. If you have a subscription that you don't need anymore, get rid of it. You're going to need all of that money down the line. That is, again, a super valuable tip I've learned myself is save money, cancel different things, cancel different subscriptions, put that money aside into your business. You'll thank me later for it. I guarantee you, you will like that I said that down the line. So, um, like I said, studying, you know, there's, there's so many different business ideas. It's endless. Uh, my recommendations for the best businesses to start if you don't have an idea is I would recommend are you ready? YouTube YouTube is number one um, Shopify drop shipping Amazon FBA um, social media management social media management guys running ads for other companies and that's a big one i think it's yeah i said sma social media is that the right one is that the right one that i'm thinking of um social media marketing social media like social media agencies social media just social media companies in general like what i mean by that is going to other companies, you create like a big social media brand and you then, um, it's like Instagram influencers almost, you go to other people or you charge other people on your Instagram bio or Facebook bio or whatever you, you put, I'm charging so-and-so $20, I'm charging $20 to promote, um, DM me or whatever. I think, I think a better way to do it is DM me if you want to grow your social media. I think that's just the best way to do it. And then you get people um, messaging you. And when you have a lot of followers, they want their posts to be promoted on social media, on your social media page. So that is a very big one that is growing rapidly. Um, I wouldn't put that as the highest recommendation because that is... That's that's very hard. You have to. I've done it multiple times. It is it is pretty tricky, um, and you'll definitely not make a bunch of money up front. It it takes time to grow social media on social media, brand new profile and stuff. So, um, even I I would I would not even recommend doing TikTok or any of that stuff. I'd recommend, like I said, staying on YouTube as the number one easiest business to to run. Honestly, it is it? I've seen the the gra the analytics and everything, and I saw this one video that I posted. I'm not even monetized. This broke me when I saw this. Social Blade analyzed that I would have made one hundred and sixty two dollars to two thousand two hundred dollars on one video. 
one video. Think about that for a minute. One video, you can make two thousand dollars. Now, that video did blow up, but it that this is what happens on YouTube. You can go viral at any point, and that's the beauty of it. And your videos are there forever. They're on. It's a digital asset. It's there forever. That's why I think so many people are saying, "Do YouTube. It is so easy to get started." Um, like I said, you're not gonna make money right away. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard. I would study different YouTube channels, watch different videos on how to do this correctly, and you can save so much time by just watching other people's videos on how to do this. So, um, faceless channels are blowing up, and and that's what I've been doing. Faceless channels, faceless YouTube channels. You don't really have to show your face that often. I just I just want to show my face. I want to get longer um, view duration because that shoots my views up and or shoots my analytics up so i make more money on youtube i'm being transparent because you guys are here to to understand how to operate a business and that is very important that you have people constantly staying at your business longer because it grows a profit they want to buy more things they want to stay longer um now if you are out there creating a product or creating an app or something that involves a lot of time and money and pain. I wouldn't recommend that. That is a very hard thing to get into. If you want to do Shopify, um, use like TikTok shop and stuff. That is, that is great. That is a great way to make money online. I've seen so many freaking TikTok shop ads lately. It's growing rapidly. And that's why I would recommend e-commerce um, because especially, well, actually you don't even really need to use Shopify. You just use TikTok shop, I think, and that's pretty crazy. Um, uh, I still want to learn how to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm not really as interested in e-commerce anymore. It, it can be very difficult. There's a lot of upfront investments and stuff, and I've, I've done Shopify over the years for so, so long, and it's not as easy as people make it out to be. There's a lot of work involved in a lot of people are just like, oh, well, let's go to Amazon. I'm just going to check Amazon. There's so many times where I've landed on TikTok shop and I'm like, well, why don't I just check on Amazon real quick instead? Like, so I don't, I just don't think that's like a very big business. You know what I mean? That's the people make it seem like it's lucrative. Um, it was lucrative back in 2017, 2018 and 2019, but I don't, think it's as lucrative anymore because people have caught on to it and people are just going directly to Amazon so you know I've, I've spent a lot of money on Shopify already I've spent over I've spent over $500 easily and uh, that's only been that's only me using it for like three months I've already spent over $500 so be prepared to lose money if you want to go into e-commerce and you might be wondering well why did you say that e-commerce is a good platform to use at the very beginning of the video well because it is it just depends on what products you use if you if you use products that is very that are very saturated you're not going to make as much money because people are just going to think of going to amazon whereas if you find something that nobody has seen before they're going to want to buy it they're going to be glued to the product so keep that in mind if you're running an e-commerce store um that you're gonna to need to find an eye-catching product that you can't really find in the general stores, which that's very hard to do. That's very hard to do. And you almost have to go back to that whole idea of making a product, which can be extremely expensive. And it's it's not a good idea. Um, but yeah, I, I've used Shopify for many years. Um, it's a great platform. I have no bad things to say about it, but it can just get, it can get kind of expensive over the years especially if you're not making money and with the age of amazon growing and growing and growing um it can be a very hard place to be on so um you know i've considered for a while now like should i just be done should i just give up on my shopify platform um and i honestly think that my business on shopify is so good that it just looks so good that i could sell it somehow that I could sell it 
I haven't made money on it. I haven't really promoted it at all. But I just don't really... I don't really see the potential in it because Amazon. Amazon. Um, but yeah, guys, that's just my input. I hope that helps you guys. Um, I know I haven't went over more businesses than, than really... That more businesses than e-commerce and Amazon and stuff. I really haven't went over that. Um, but those are the most popular businesses right now. E-commerce, YouTube, Amazon FBA, um, social media marketing, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I'll keep it simple. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I'll probably be I'll probably be back for a part two to this. Um, hope this helped. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, comment below. Peace.